Finally, we got the audio mixer in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, a feature we were waiting for so long. Actually, since the launch of DaVinci Resolve on the iPad two years ago, because we have the mixer in almost every page when you go to a desktop, but we didn't have the mixer on the iPad. And now we got it at least on the cut page, it's not there on the edit page or the other pages and also not on Fairlight. So if you're coming from music editing in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and you want to work on the Fairlight page, I still have to say to you, you have to still wait. But in my comments under my videos in the past talking about the audio mixer, there's actually a lot of features and effects even available in the cut page. And now with the addition to the audio mixer, you can do serious work in the cut page and with the audio mixer. I show you what I mean. We always had this button here on the top. But when you were open it, nothing was showing here on the bottom. And now we finally have the audio mixer. So I will make this a little bit bigger. So, and with this, a couple of new functions were introduced or added that were originally already in the desktop version. Now we have them here on the iPad as well. So what they're talking about with the full length is you can actually always click here on this icon and now you see your full length audio mixer. So if you have a lot of audio tracks or view, uh, video tracks, now you can change all of the audio just in that view. You don't have to go to Fairlight. You don't have to go to any other page. You can do this now straight in the cut page. And you can of course use the mouse to swipe here inside so you don't have to be in the full view mode, but you can also use the pencil or the mouse here on the bottom and then just go in, in there. But it just makes it easier if you wanna work on your audio. And what does it mean? Here in my project, for example, I added a couple of new layers and if I would have audio clips in that one I can now simply control my audio based on every track so let's say for example an audio track A I want to bring this audio down here down as well this one I want to boost this is like a mixer that's the call that's why it's called audio mixer the cool thing about this feature is that we have now two more features the dynamics and the equalizer so each track now has access to the dynamics and the equalizer effect. Before that, we didn't have the equalizer and the dynamics effect. Now we have it, and this always applies to the full um, track. So everything, every clip that you place on that track will have these settings. There's a couple of defaults that you can use here, like voices for dialogue for mail or something, and you can play around with these. I will not go through this in this video, but this is amazing that we now have these audio effects here as well. And when you activate the dynamics, you will get this here. You find a limiter in here, a compressor. You can play around with this. These are amazing effects that we're missing before DaVinci Resolve 20 here. And if you're wondering what is the first one, FX, because nothing happens if you click on this one. FX just simply will open here. If I go to an inspector, let's, let's close this one for a second. You know, when I go to effects and I go here to audio effects, I can drag and drop these audio effects, not just on a track, on a clip, I can actually drag and drop them also here on a com entire track. So now this effect, like the, what was that again? I forgot, no problem. I can select this track here, come in the inspector, and here under, under effects, I see this was the delay effect. No, the chorus, I already added the delay. Here's the chorus. If you wanna go back to the settings menu, you can always click on this one, then you see the settings for that specific effect. And these effects are applied not just to the clip, if I click on the clip, there's no effect here. But if I click and select the track, I see here the effects under there. So if I come back in here and you see now this one is lighting up orange and this one is lighting up orange. That means those two tracks have effects applied. And to see that you have to already open the inspector. And now if I click on this one, boom, audio track one. If I click on this one, boom, audio track two. So you will just see and it's opening that one. If there's nothing in, it will not, it will actually open audio three, but it will jump into this one because there's no effect applied. Unfortunately, you can't drag and drop effects now here. That would be amazing. Blackmagic, if you're looking, that doesn't work. I have to go back to this mode here. So I see the tracks here and drag and drop my stuff. Let's say here, for example, to this track. And then I have it applied here as well. So, and if we look at the edit page, the mixer is here, but it's not finished yet. The same in the Fairlight page. If we go to the Fairlight page, it's still empty. But still, I think this is a good way forward. It will take a couple of more updates. They will introduce this now, but we have it now on the cut page. So that means we make progress. I think a couple of more updates, then we will also see them in the edit page and the fusion page. And I don't know what else is 
big missing in the, the, those pages. Of course, they're not all optimized for the iPad, but most of the functions work. But I can see the point that the mixer was always missing. And why would you release publicly the edit or the fusion page if the mix, uh, the edit or the Fairlight page, if the mixer doesn't even work? But if the mixer now starts to work and we can see it now here in the cut page, that is a good sign that maybe, I'm not sure, I'm just saying, maybe there is a future not so far away from now that we will get all the other pages officially as well. They never remove the pages and all the features that were added to the desktop will always somehow also come back to the um, iPad version. I just wanted to let you that know so that even in my video today when I only cover cut page and color page, if there are new features that actually work on the edit page, most likely they also work here on the edit page. But because the edit page isn't officially launched yet, that's why they don't put it into the text here. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so much faster. Definitely check out the video here. I will link this one here. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe. By the way, I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.